now the infratemporal fossa infratemporal fossa is a small hidden fossa which is wedge shape and uh, it lies inferior to the temporal fossa between the ramus of the mandible laterally and the wall of the pharynx medially it means that this fossa that is which is called as infratemporal fossa it is present deep to the ramus of the mandible we can see this fossa only when we remove the ramus of the mandible so if we remove the ramus of the mandible you can see here this uh, fossa which is shown here uh, this part this is infratemporal fossa fine so uh, because uh, you can see this is the ramus of the mandible this is cut and removed and uh, deep to this ramus you can see this uh, this part is the infratemporal fossa and medially you can see in this fossa uh, they this is the uh, pharynx fine this is uh, basically the wall of the pharynx you can see here this is superior constrictor these are different muscles of the pharynx which are forming the wall there is a very important fissure which is present in the medial wall of infratemporal fossa called as pterygo maxillary fissure and this is the fissure uh, which is communicating this infratemporal fossa with the third important fossa called as pterygo palatine fossa so sometimes it was asked uh, it is asked that that pterygo palatine uh, what is the point of communication between infratemporal fossa and pterygo palatine fossa so this is pterygo maxillary fissure uh, which is present between the uh, pterygoid process of the sphenoid bone and the posterior surface of the maxilla now the roof of this fossa that is infratemporal fossa is formed by inferior surfaces of greater wing of sphenoid and temporal bone lateral wall is formed by medial surface of the ramus of mandible medial wall is formed by the lateral plate of pterygoid process and pharynx pterygoid process is the process of sphenoid bone anterior wall is formed by the part of the posterior surface of the maxilla as this fossa is present posterior to the maxilla that's why the anterior wall is formed by the maxilla so the what are the structures which are present in this fossa there is a ligament called as sphenomandibular ligament two muscles present that is medial and lateral pterygoid muscles there is an artery called as maxillary artery there is uh, a nerve that is mandibular nerve here it is written uh, 5 3 that is uh, v is basically a roman uh, way to write numbers so this is the third division of the trigeminal nerve then branches of facial nerve that is seventh cranial nerve branches of glossopharyngeal nerve that is the ninth cranial nerve and there is a venous plexus present called as pterygoid plexus of veins so uh, you can see here these are the muscles in this fossa which is shown this is lateral pterygoid and this is medial pterygoid lateral pterygoid is this muscle and below this lies the medial pterygoid fine the ligament is also shown here that is sphenomandibular ligament 